Hello friends, welcome to Sandeep's Biology. This video is about the difference between starch and glycogen. So I'll be comparing the structure of starch and glycogen. I already discussed about the structure of starch and the structure of glycogen in two separate videos. If you want to watch these videos, the link is there in the i button. In this video, let's see the comparison between starch and glycogen. The starch consists of two components amylose and amylopectin. Amylose is water soluble component which is present around 15 to 20 percent in the starch and amylose is unbranched structure and two glucose molecules are joined together are linked together by alpha 1 for glycosidic bond in the structure of amylose. If we talk about amylopectin then amylopectin is branched component and it is water insoluble component and the amount of the amylopectin is 80 to 85 percent in the starch as this is branched component alpha 14 and alpha 16 glycosidic bonds are there right so in linear chain alpha 14 glycosidic bond is there and when there is branch alpha 16 glycosidic bond is there right if we talk about the structure of glycogen then the structure of glycogen is similar to the amylopectin but it is more branch than amylopectin right so let's see the difference between starch and glycogen here in the structure of starch if we talk about the amylopectin then these branching points occur every 24 to 30 glucose residues right so branching points in starch occur every 24 to 30 glucose residues and if we talk about glycogen as i told you that it is similar to the amylopectin but it is more branched than amylopectin right so here branching points <coughs> occur every 8 to 12 glucose residues so here is one branching point after every 8 to 12 glucose residues there is one branching point again after every 8 to 12 glucose residues there is next branch right so we can say that the starch is less branch structure right branching points are less frequent so here branching point branching points less frequent than the glycogen and here branching points branching points are more frequent as compared to amylopectin of the starch so amylopectin of the starch is less branch structure while the glycogen is more branch structure so it is less branch as compared to glycogen and glycogen is more branched So it is more branched structure. Starch is plant storage polysaccharide, right? It is plant storage homopolysaccharide. So plant storage polysaccharide. And Glycogen is animal storage polysaccharide. So these are the difference between starch and glycogen, right? I hope this video is helpful. If you are watching this video till here, please hit the like button. Share this video with your friends. Subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.